r slash escritted, non-Floridians, what do you think about Florida? Ugh retirees. Don't forget herpes ridden, golf cart riding, white supremacist retirees at the villages. Retirees that do meth. It's a mythical place filled with immortal crackheads, giant crocodiles and old people playing golf. I'm from the UK. Alligators, not crocodiles. And yes, I have one in my pond. Go swimming with him almost every day. He's small though. I live near the nation's capital and I think the same. Only thing I would add to your description is the old people playing golf all have sexually transmitted diseases. The 70s came back. Except now they're in their 70s. Where's Bugs Bunny when you need him? He took a wrong turn Albuquerque. Still debating with Daffy Duck if it's rabbit season or duck season. Yes. Bugs had the right idea. The law that requires all court cases there to be completely public provides us with some excellent headlines. I just watched a video of a man in sandals and socks using a plastic trash bin to catch an alligator. I don't know what to think anymore underscore. That's just Frank. Give him natty light and he's a happy hillbilly. Glad I'm here and not there. I've had some great vacations there, at Disney and the NASA Center. Made some great memories, always wanted to make time to drive down the Keys. Now in 2023, with the state of the Florida government, I wouldn't stop in Florida to change planes. Not for love or money. Any place that is unsafe for certain types of people eventually isn't safe for anyone. Those who burn books will eventually burn people. Heinrich Heine. From the news, it seems like some lawless hillbilly haven run by literally Satan where inbreeding is the norm and people hunt gators at point blank range. The weather also sounds incredible. Floridian here, it's moist, which is nice, almost year round, and it's miserably hot for 10 months, and nice for two. ID say everything but the incest. Alabama has to have something special for themselves, after all. The weather is awful. Unless you're inside, with the AC. Cool place to visit but I'd rather not live somewhere so hot. Ah yes, the evolutionary blip that is Florida man. Oh I thought of one other thing. Palmetto bugs aka giant flying hissing cockroaches. The humidity, red ants, and daily thunderstorms are a major and I have snowbird grandparents that I frequently visit there. I have snowbird parents who moved there. If they didn't live there, I'd never go, unless I had to for work. I've been all over Florida and I just don't like it. The only part of Florida I haven't been to is the Keys. I want to go there a little. It's not like bucket list, but I'd like to go. Other than that, I'd be happy to never go again. Too hot, too humid, too rainy, too Republican bullshit. Not American, but when you say Florida, everything 80s just pop to mind. The color palette, the music, the drugs. Basically Scarface. Say hello to my lil friend. I've had some great times visiting. Baseball spring training is a blast. Plenty of natural beauty and lots of charm. Even the tourist places are tired though. Disney is stuck in the 80s and the surrounding areas and hotels badly need renovating. All over the state, accommodation and towns are described as old Florida as a selling point, what they really mean is dirty, damp and musty. My heart is in the key still. Backward shithole. Rising sea levels can't come soon enough. Just remember when the levels really rise, people will evacuate. Alabama and Georgia are burning down hotels, so the escapees don't stop until they are far inland. Florida man will reach Minnesota and California. We need Bugs Bunny, not rising sea levels. The theme parks are cool, everything else sucks. Fun game. Look up your birthday and Florida man. Except for the Cuban food no thanks. It's where the conservative, racist, sexist boomers from the northern states congregate when they retire and endorse their fascist AF governor. Also white trash and meth heads, and generally uneducated idiots. And those are just the crocodiles. Wait till you meet the locals. Edit, them gators too. I am absolutely terrified by your legislative body. And FL isn't the only state doing this insane shit, they're just doing the most insane shit, emo. Fear intensifies. Fam, I'm from there, and it scares the shit out of me, too. Somebody, and I don't know who it would be, needs to stop the asswipe of a governor and a goodly portion of the state legislature. It can't be only decorum that has been keeping their horrible behavior out of politics all this time. It's baffling how a state with so much drugs and nudity could still be so right-leaning. Exactly. Bunch of nut jobs. 
it has beautiful beaches. It's frankly embarrassing that every other state does not have this law. Yikes. Overrated and not a state I would ever live in again, spent almost 2 YRS in the panhandle. High cost of living considering the crappy pay, crappy weather that fluctuates between varying degrees of heat and humidity, bad shit crazy politicians, hurricanes suck, and tourists are painful. America's dog. Florida is America's most penis-shaped state. Disney World, humidity, and fascism. Gotta be in the top 4 worst states in the country. Horrific politics, horrific violent crime rates, crazy high drug use slash import slash arrests, super low public education levels, terribly arcane laws, high poverty rates, and the worst weather, for me I hate humidity. Miami had great food though. Florida is fourth in the nation in math proficiency. First if you account for demographics. Link. That shit crazy. I've been there hundreds of times. I will never go again and I will never spend another valuable dollar in that fascist hellhole. You'll never go there again based on everything I've seen happen there. Honestly every state has some sort of law like this. This isn't just limited to Florida lol. Hot, humid, horrid government. It's where New York Jews go to retire and drive a car for the first time in their lives. It's an ugly, fetid swamp literally and figuratively. All of the worst traits of America are amplified there. Sounds like no one on Reddit is moving there. Somehow, it's the fastest growing state in the US. It's definitely overcrowded. Grew up in California and now live in Florida. It's actually pretty great. Not a fan of humidity or ants but I've lived in 5 states and this is my second favorite. Boomers gotta go somewhere, and Texas still gets winters. I love the Everglades and Key Lime Pie, and that's probably the nicest thing I can say about the state. When the headline starts with Florida man, you know it's gonna be crazy. Have never been to the state and have never wanted to go because of the humidity, bugs, and hurricanes. Now with their far right, conservative, nearly fascist government, I wouldn't give that state one dime on my tourist money. Alligators, meth dealers, alligator meth dealers and retirees. The governor and senator are way worse than alligators, meth dealers, and alligator meth dealers. The retirees voted for the governor and senator, so fuck them. Don't forget hurricanes like Sharnado on a whole new level. Meth gator cane. Hurricane amphetamine.